up everyone, Game Master Pussy Sake here for the next part of my Wallace and Gromit Muzzle Walkthrough. If you remember from last time, Gromit's stuck in the ride! The evil Monty Muzzle has trapped Gromit inside this evil ride of doom, and we need to set him free. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start talking over him now, because, like, seriously, that's getting really, really annoying. Um. But Monty Muzzle said that there's a weight limit here. If it goes over the weight limit, the ride will break down. We need to find someone who's not to be rude bad enough to break the ride. Who is heavy enough to destroy it? Well, we have a lot of pretty full people right over here at the pie eating contest. Let's go see how that's going. The contest hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man <coughs> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <coughs> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick cross is Mrs. Gavani. Hogwash! And I'm relishing every bite. Uh, I'm just getting. We'll see about that. Mr. Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? right -o. We'll do that later, because that's a hint for another puzzle. So, uh, yeah, but for now, we need to get Major Crumb to ride on the ride, but he's too busy with this uh, pie in contest. He simply won't give up unless he beats Mrs. Gabberly. So, how do we make... Major Crumb realized that he's losing. We need to, well, show Major Crumb that um, how far ahead Mrs. Gabberly is. As you can see, we have another whole tray of pie pans over here. Another pile of pie pans. Yeah, and these are all Mrs. Gabberly's. Major Crumb, you're not doing very well, man. So, yeah, we need to show him these. Now, there are actually two different cutscenes that you can, you know, see when you give one of these characters the pie pans. I'm going to show you both of them. This is what the cutscene looks like if you give them to Mrs. Gabberly. Ooh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? Oh, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And this is what the cutscene looks like if you give them to Major Crumb. Where did those blighters come from? Who's been pilfering our pies? These aren't yours, Major. Oh, um, why they could be, I suppose. Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? Well, yeah, basically the difference is one's a little bit longer than the other. Here. Major Crump has just learned that Mrs. Gabberly is in the lead by a most devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety-boo right now. I, I think I might have been out by the enemy. And it seems the Major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? Mm. That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Veneers Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie eating needs. I can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crump. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps. A man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride, if you'll excuse me. Oh, I must have put on fine stone. Oh, poor Major, poor Major Crumb. 
Alright, so now you can get on the ride now, right? Hi. Bah, he didn't say bah. What? Okay. Um, yeah, so now, Major Crumb isn't allowed on the ride because the weight limit and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, yeah, we need to find a way to trick the scale into thinking that he is light enough, even though technically he isn't. So how do we do this? The answer is out in the town. Do 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 it. Alright, we need to grab one of these. A balloon. A balloon. Always a good for a lift. Yes, when Major Crumb lifts, hits this balloon, he will seem lighter than he really is. Oh, hey, look. It's the tra trash can with the uh, gumball bag. Heavens above. What? Oh. Dallas. No. Mm. No, what? Wallace, you just ate cheese out of the garbage. Are you crazy? What? No, no, walk away. Walk away. Just duck away. Okay, just duck away. Uh, no, Wallace, that was disgusting. Uh. With the tiniest little lift, I'd be cleared for takeoff. Here's your tiniest little lift. Give the balloon to Major Crumb. Who doesn't love a festive balloon? I know, right? Again, it, it said he said woohoo, but he didn't really say woohoo. Okay, that's that's weird. But yeah, obviously I Constable Dimmons is not going to get off of the ride. He's just gonna stay there forever and ever 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 and ever. So we need to find a way to get him off of the ride. This is where that slip of paper comes in. This is the hint as to what to do. Let's go talk to Mr. Paneer. Right, so let's see what happens when we give him this sheet of paper. Excuse me, Paneer. Mr. Shabbily wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <coughs> All attendants are invited to Vinnie Gabbley's victory celebration to be held later this evening at the house of Gabbley. Major Crumb is invited only if humbled by defeat. How could I have let this happen? Disgraced on the field of battle. So yeah, Mr. Paneer, for whatever reason, will read the note that it probably has something personal on it out to the public. Yeah, not very smart. So we need to give him something that makes it seem like he's talking to Constable Dibbins when he really isn't. Well, the answer we're looking for is right here at the fortune telling machine. Okay, shut up. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned. That's what he needs to read to Constable Dibbins, but he can also get two other fortunes here. Hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Oh, well, uh, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. <laughs> Your home smells of a patch of mold. We the odd bit, I know, but it's not that bad. All right, so now let's go back to Mr. Paneer. Do 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 do. Up the stairs, Wallace, thank you. Hello, 
All right, so you need to give him the uh and remember Anyway, um, we need to get on the one that says your duties as neglected as an abandoned puppy. But what happens if we give them the other two fortunes? Uh, a note, Mr. Panea. Your home smells of a patch of mold. Hey, Mr. Panea, you clearly never been to the house of Gavily. <laughs> you never will. Oh, poor Mr. Panea. All right, now let's give him the hair one. A note, Mr. Panea. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. But Duncan, isn't that the last line of your poem? The one you wrote specially for me? Why, uh, yes, my dear. Its greatness is such that uh, it's already been quoted. The poem you wrote each and every line of? Why, uh, yes, of course. How odd. That little pick-me-up comes courtesy of Monte Muzzle's fortune-telling machine. Generally oh. by Mr. Wallace. A fortune? Wallace? Honey cakes? I can explain. Explain nothing. It's plagiarism. Lies. Deceit. Done for how with you, Duncan McBiscuit. Velocity, my wee nose country now. I wrote all those other lines, especially that one about your haunches. Poor Duncan. I decided to show that because that's actually going to carry over to the next game. So I thought I'd show that since that's kind of important. Alright, so now let's give him the slip of paper that you're supposed to show, Paneer. This one. A note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. That's all. Stop the ride. That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. All right, and now Major Crumb can get on the ride. Uh, wait, what? Where's the balloon? The balloon's supposed to be in his hand. But it isn't. That's weird. Oh man. Oh no! Whoa! 